All right, travelers. Now, before I head to the lighthouse, and this is toward the evening, so I decided I'm gonna stop and get some dinner. And I came here to a little place called Whippy Dip. It's one of the most famous places here in Silver Lake. They got one of the best pizzas in the area. And believe it or not, at one time they used to have a celebrity that used to stay, stop here. Um, you ever heard of the guy named George Wimp? The guy who played Norm from Cheers. Well, I guess his wife is from near here, and they would come up here for the summer. And he would stop here at Whippy Dip. Now, they used to have a, a sign, a picture of him sitting in his minivan. And, uh, you know, they would probably had a sign above it and said, Well, where does Norm come to get his pizza? And Whippy Dip. That's where. Now, this place is most famous for, like, their ice cream and all that. But they also do pizzas. You know, and they do some great pizzas. All right, I got my pizza. Now, check this out. Yeah, box doesn't show much, but hey, there we go. Look at that. Look how good that looks. Looks great. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. That's good. Said you get up here, stop a whippy dip, and you may just get ice cream. We got good ice cream there too. Now, travelers, when you come down to the lighthouse, it's right about down the way from where Mac Woods goes on Termite Bridge. It's right there. That's Termite Bridge. When you come down this road, you have to go away. Quite a ways back, you know, it, it goes around and winds around. So, then right about here, you can start seeing the sand dunes on the other side there. So that's all part of the sand dunes. So, now this part here, you see where all these cars are parked. This part, the lighthouse is further down. This part here, you can actually come up here, park here, and go right, right where those party pods are. You walk up there and you can go swimming out on Lake Michigan. So Lake Michigan's right up there, along there. People going along there. But the lighthouse is down this way. You can see all these, this leads all by the, these houses here people that have all this property right here that go right along Lake Michigan so you can't pass by when you walk down that way you have to walk, go all the way down here to the lighthouse here she is folks there's the lighthouse the little point sable lights station right there now to park in here you have to have a state park sticker or like I've got on my car, I've got the passport. And there it is, we're parked right in front of it where the little sable lighthouse right there on Lake Michigan. You know, we'll definitely go up there and I might, hopefully, somebody told me now, they used to never do it, but now they actually let you uh, go up in it, but it costs about five bucks, I think. It's five bucks to go up in it it's for the upkeep of that lighthouse. And supposedly, I saw on the internet uh, somewhere that supposedly there's a bald eagle around here that's been hanging around this area. Hopefully I can see that. I would love to see that bald eagle. Well, travelers, unfortunately, I won't be able to take that tour like I wanted to. As I said, it's after 5 o'clock, and they stop tours after 5 o'clock. And there she is, the little Sable Point lighthouse. So my family used to come up here, go swimming out here on Lake Michigan. So it's all Lake Michigan right there. It's one of the most beautiful sunsets you ever see around here. Here 
Uh, that's all it is. You know, it's about 6.30 in the afternoon. You can already see the sun's starting to come down a little bit. You can see out there, there's like a little like glow right there. That's about where the sun's going to go right down. Look like it's going to go right down into the lake. And you see here, uh, my hand here. These are the famous for kids looking for these little rocks that you'll find all along the beach here, washing up on shore. They're like rocks that have been smoothed out by the, uh, the sand and the water. And, they, and people like to collect them. So this is a, this is a free collector you can have from up here. Of buying stuff from a you know shop or all that it, that's free right there. They're pretty little rocks. I tell you one souvenir you'll definitely get up here that you don't expect to get bring home with you. You bring them back a lot of sand. Look at that all in my chair and then my shoes. You get a lot of sand in your shoes. Look at that. You're walking in the sand and you're definitely going to get sand in your shoes. Like I said, you'll, you'll find sand when you come back home. Everywhere. Well, it's about 7 o'clock now. And the sun's really starting to get low. And you can see it just shining on the water right there. That's how low it is. And it'll get closer. And like I said, before you know it, right there, it'll look like it's going down into the water. Well, I've been keeping my eyes open for that eagle they said they saw around here, but unfortunately all I see is these seagulls. The old beachcombers sidekick. Old seagulls. Over here begging for food. Oh, look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Uh, glistens off to the water. See, it's getting lower. Slowly but surely. Just about 8 o'clock, about 15 minutes at 8 o'clock. So I'll tell you what, there's one thing that he painted a button up here. You see that little fly on my thing? These are the damn sand flies. They suckers bite. Oh, they hurt. I thought how beautiful that is. See how the beams come out of the clouds like that? See, as it gets closer to the evening, you see people coming up here. Getting selfies in front of the sunset. I know it's back. So look how beautiful that is. So trust me, even though there's clouds up there, we'll see the sunset because it'll go right down. Right into the water. Oh, watch it. 
Did you take like it with the water? I see that boat that just went by. You see, uh, the water was so calm, and now all of a sudden, look at got big old waves coming up off of that big old boat that just went by. Look at it now. Look at it about right about there. Right about there. See how golden it's starting to look? Right there at the horizon. Okay, if you're really getting lower, you see that the cloud pretty much been hanging there. It's pretty much behind the sun is behind those clouds. It's just slowly but surely sinking down. Hey, look at the waves, like I told you about that boat that went by. Look at the waves that he dug up. Oh, look how much more darker it is now. Yeah, there's just a little golden section right here. I can't stop. There's a cloud. Uh, the sun is right behind them clouds right there. I found a feather. Ew. So you look all the way down through here. It's all dark down there. Dark down through that way. We got right there. Well, it's after nine o'clock now. And you see, you can just see just behind the cloud right there. You can see where the sun is. It's not too much. It won't be too much longer. Sundown's about around ten o'clock or so, right here. And just look at it. How golden it's gotten. The whole premier maneuver right here. It's all golden. When you look down that way, it's all dark. Oh, that way it's even darker. Kind of hazy. I'm not sure if you can even see out there. There's even some boats that have showed up here. They'll see the sunset from their boats. A couple of them sitting out there. There's a good size one right over there. I'll check this out further up. You see just above the clouds now you see the the beams going through the clouds, going that away. Oh, check this out! See how, see how pink it's gotten down here, right there. See how pink it's gotten. So the sun is like right here, it's right about there. Not sure if you can see that. It's so right about here. There's like this little circle in the water. And I don't think that's pretty much where the sun's gonna go down, right there. Now if you look just right there, right at the top, right there, there's like the sun is starting to peek out. Look at it. There it goes. It's starting to come down. Come down from the clouds. Look at that. See it? There it is. It's coming down from the clouds. That's the beginning. There it is. See? And you can even see the reflection in the water now. Look at that. It's coming down actually pretty quickly now. There we go. Look at that. Right there. 
Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Just wait, it's gonna get better. Completely out of the clouds now. Look at that. See, you can see the reflection of it coming down right into the water there. It is completely from the clouds. See all these up here? All that up there is clouds. Isn't that beautiful?
Oh, it's just going into the water. Now they say if you look at it just right when it goes completely into the water, you can almost hear a sizzle. Everybody, 
It's almost completely down. Look at that. <laughs> 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 There it goes. Just a little bit left. And that's it, everybody. That's it. That's our sunset. Wasn't that beautiful? Well, fellow travelers, that's about it for this little trip to the uh, the lighthouse here. That was great. I hope you loved that sunset as much as I did. If you like this, hit that like button, share, subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. And if you have anything you think I might be interested in doing, let me know. I might just show up and do it. All right, travelers, Till next time. I'll see you around the mitten. Check this out. I was about ready to leave after the sunset and realize the lighthouse is starting to light up. See that? The light keeps blinking on and off. 